Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back again. So I will read it. Where will it? This pronoun match in number and gender with the portion that looks like the mark on the down. And they are referring to the same thing. It's like it come back again. Yeah, for the example, Assalamualaikum, Sister Salma. Okay, yeah. So that's the difference between Maf'ul Bihi Muqaddam and Mashughul Anhu. Mashughul Anhu always have attached pronoun. That is, uh, you know, the same thing with the Maf'ul Bihi Muqaddam. Okay. Oh, so this is the term. Okay. Al Arba, which is the Mafol Bihi Mukaddam, is called Mashrul Anhu. And then the Fi'il, it is called Al Mashrul. And then the attached pronoun that is referring to the maf'ul bihi is called sha'ril. I think it's sha'ril. Yeah. Yeah, sha'ril. Yeah, as sha'ril. Mm -hmm. So it's rhyme with fa'il. Uh, ism fa'il, ism maf'ul. Okay. Well, where is two of them? Let. I think Sister Sabiha cannot make it. Okay. Oh. Oh, she already here. Yeah. Assalamualaikum, Sister Ferry. Okay. This is only the term. Right? And the function of Al Mashakul Anhu. It is ihtima or to give importance to something. Similar to Muqtada, Al Mashakul Anhu is brought forward to give it special attention. But unlike the Muqtada, it is not considered as the main topic. Okay, this is the example. If an artist is asked about their painting at an exhibit, the conversation might be something like this. My painting has spent a total of 60 hours working on it. I added so many details, my eyes almost crossed. I even built a canvas myself. I think I used approximately a ton of paint on it. So, Notice that even though the artist mentioned the painting first, it was not the main topic of their discourse. The painting was actually was certainly an important element, but the artist's focus was about his hand and effort in making the painting. Yeah. This is the purpose of Al Mashrul Anhu which is known and recognized as rhetorical device in classical Arabic. Example in the Quran, 
walu upon ataina hu. And even loot we had given. And loot, do you realize we had given um, Hikma, Tokman, and Ailman? Walimina aadalahum. So here, Walimina, Ina. Ina is three masculine. That's why the attached pronoun here is home. Three masculine. Oh, but this time we have uh, the, the pronoun is attached to the heart. This is still considered as al who because the la is married to Adda. Okay. And whom and Abalimina are both referring to the same group. So little literal meaning. We prepared for the wrongdoers. Or oh, did you realize for the wrongdoers? Uh, he prepared is who he prepared the painful punishment for. So far, uh, do you have anything to discuss more about this? I think I get it. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. What about Sister Salma? Yeah, no. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, maybe we can take turn to read this <laughs> because this is long explanation. Who wanna read? So this is Sir Salma. Could you please read for us? Oh, my device is very small, so I can't see properly. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I try to read. Okay. Muktada versus Majhul Anhu. If you if you want the Majhul Anhu to be so important, you could make it important by making it as Jumla Ismia. But why not? Madat naha then which uh well arva madat naha this is oh. which one do you read it this one or this one the the green one the uh the purple one uh the purple one uh well arva madad nah madad naha this is too small <laughs> <laughs> I already uh, wear my glasses, but still. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll read for all of you. <laughs> all right, all right. You, uh, in the reading session, you should, uh, you should, um, you know, talking more, because I already talking so much in this session. All right. So here, okay, it's okay. Thank you for the effort. I know this is too small for some of you. Cool and who? Then, uh, the next, the next thing is, uh, really, I cannot say. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will read for you then. So. Here, well, Arma Madadanaha, it is Jumla Fiania, hmm. but in special sequence. So here, Al Arma serves as a Mashogul Anhu. This is important part in the sentence, but not the main topic. The focus still on Madadana. The topic of discussion is the file.
so important but not the topic of discussion so here it is become jumlah ismiya because al ardu is rofa so it is muktada so muktada is the main topic therefore the focus of the sentence is it um, al ardu see that's the difference in jumlah fi'liyah mas'ul anhu the topic discussion is Allah. But here in the jumlah ismiyah for the topic discussion uh, is al ardu So different topic. Different focus. Uh, if al ardu becomes so important by having the ha repeating it, it still didn't rise to the level of being the primary subject. The primary subject is, is still the one who did the madad, uh, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. The second example. Wa shu'ara'a yattabi'ahum al -ghabun. This is jumlah fi'liya and ashu'ara is is the mash'ul anhu. Uh, the fact that ashu'ara is mash'ul anhu, um, this is already, you know, give uh, sense that ashu'ara is important part of the sentence. But actually, the main Focus is not ashuara. So the main topic will be the follower or al -ghawun. This is the main topic actually. But here, when you turn it into a jumlah fi'aniya, ashuara u, this is become muqtada. So, actually, it is the main topic. Yeah, that's, it seems like a small detail because in translation, you might not even see much of the difference. But in the larger subject matter, it will give you an insight as to what is it that Allah is putting focus on and what is it that Allah is putting in the secondary position. And those subtle differences can maybe help you discover inside, uh, inside of the text as you're reading it. Oh, yeah. This is so sub subtle, yeah? We have to really careful. to look an ayah when you have um mashghul anhu yeah interesting concept now we compare mashghul anhu with maf'ul bihi muqaddam oh they can be similar the only difference is that Shahil first by Mashaul or to the you know of only him Qaddam. That's uh, the only difference. But um, the rhetorical purpose is drastically different. Muqaddam creates exclusivity, specialness, or you know, some some meaning right we learn not only uh, anything that is muqaddam like muta'alik bil fa'il muqaddam khabar muqaddam anything yeah it creates special meaning but that's not what mashaul anhu is doing mashaul anhu 
is actually bringing the extraordinary focus on the map all BT as if the listener wasn't paying attention to them. Yeah, grammatically, the only difference is the shell or the pronoun. But in the meaning, it change uh, drastically like this, yeah? Okay. That's all. Wow, we talk uh, many things. And then we learn again this concept in advanced structure, actually. Um, what day? Day nine. But only repeating the concept, I think. By the way, I'm not taking any note yet <laughs> on my school on who. Okay. Al ishtigal is rhetorical devices used in Arabic. Rhetorical devices means it's mostly used for balaga purposes. Okay, but it's talking about balaga all of a sudden. Okay, balaga, as always, you could have said it in a different way, but you choose to say this way. That's what balaga is. And there are three different sections in balaga, ilmul ma'ani, ilmul bayan, and ilmul what? Ba'i, badi. The one that has to do with grammar the most is Ilmul Ma'ani. Uh, Ilmul Ma'ani uh, talking about things that are said that could have been said differently and things that are said in unexpected ways. So, Ishtiwal or Mashogul Anhu is definitely in line with Aymul Ma'ani. I cannot remember Aymul Ma'ani. Okay. For example, Alantul Arabiyata. It's a normal sentence. I Alamtu uh, Alama. So I talk. Uh, Arabic. Al Istighal is talking about the Mahalbihi in unexpected ways. It's a special unexpected way to talk about the Mahalbihi. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I can say Al Arabiyata Al Tuha. So Ha is used because Arabiyata is one feminine. Here you mention the makul bihi first and then mention it again as a pronoun. That's called al istiqal. It is separate structure for putting unusual amount of stress on the makul bihi. It affects mentioning it twice, once as an ism and once as the pronoun. Okay. So let's practice. Okay, I will go first. Ra'at Ahmada in Ishtiwal, it becomes Ahmada Ra'at Hu. Okay. Next, uh, maybe Sister Salma. Okay. Uh, banaina, banaina Sama. So asama banaynaha. Yeah. Uh, next is very you are mute. 
Yes. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. okay, where sister? I'm sorry. Before sister Sabiha, can sister Perry uh, say again the istighal version? Oh, asaba a rofa aha. So the okay. wow, the wow, yeah, <laughs> or was sama a rofa aha. Yeah, so. Yeah, wow is wow doesn't change the place still there. The wow still the first word. Hmm. So like that. Yeah. Okay. Now sister Sabiha. Well, Arda. Well, Arda. Yes, sister Salma again. Okay, Al Janna. Okay, Al Janna. Al Janna. Ha. Right? Yeah. How to say in English there is this? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, can you? <laughs> you have <Sorry>. this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so sorry. So can you repeat mm -hmm. again, Sister Salma? Okay. Um, Alajana khalaq naha. Okay. The thing is, Janna, what gender? Masculine or feminine? Oh, masculine. Khalaq. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's masculine, right? Mm-hmm. So it can you cannot so, use. So aljana, yeah, kolakna, who? Yes, let's see the answer. Yes, you are correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and the word still first word, okay. Yeah. I think we get the concept. Yeah. Okay. A it is only with is a mausul wasilatul mausul or uh, mausul sifa. Mm -hmm. Istighal is maf'ul bihi mentioned twice. The meaning of it comes back, but this is not the same concept. Don't confuse that concept, meaning don't confuse istighal or istighal with a it concept. So that's different things. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, repeating what we have just read before. Yes. I cannot catch it. Okay. Nuhan Hadaina. Is this al istighal or not? Yeah, istighal. Okay. Istighal.
Okay. Okay. It's no. Is there is a no pronoun, right? Hadaina. Ha. You have to put ha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? No. Is feminine. Why? Why you choose ha? Hadaina who? Yeah. Hadaina who? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. So yeah, this this time this is still well, yeah, hmm. but this is not still. Okay. Okay. The function of still well, the same thing. Yeah. If still well with half. Okay. We haven't talked about this. Ada Adaban Alima Lil Walimina. So this is normal sequence, normal order. Fail and Fail Ada and then. Azaban Aliman is not only he and the Zalimina is Mutalik Bilfiain because this is Jarwa Majrur. Okay. As a speaker, uh, I can choose which one do I want to bring up as the Mashol and who. Uh, I wanna. Bring Azaban Aliman for Avalimina as the Mashukul Anhu. And then, what do I want the listeners to be preoccupied with? So, here we can say Azaban Aliman Adahu. See? Um, who is used, uh, and this is refers back to the Azaban. Okay. Azaban Alima Addahu Lizvalimina. Here, Azaban Aliman as the Mashol Anhu. The second version, the second way that I can use Avalimina. Ada la hum azaban aliman. So this time, uh, this time I choose awadimina as the mashulan who. But originally it has li or it has har. This body mean. But when I take it to the front, I don't bring the harp with it. So the harp stay uh, there with the pronoun. The harp will stay with the pronoun. Uh, it's not being mentioned twice. Meaning we don't say lizolimina aandalahum. The heart only once. And mention that the sequence also changed. You know, um, in here, it comes um, at the end, Livadimina, but when it attached, it, it becomes, you know, after the fear. Now Azaban Aliman is the last uh, place, in the last place. So, because uh, is the Ador Limina still Mutaalik Bilfi'il or not? Now, now it's not Mutaalik Bilfi'il anymore. Uh, it is Mashukul Anhu. We now have new term. In jumlah fi'liya. We even cannot say this maf'ul bihi muqaddam. 
Why? Because we have whom. That is that is referring back to this. So, Aswalimina is not muta'alik bil fi'il, is not maf'ul bihi muqaddam. It is mashul and who. Yeah. And this is only my um my guess, my opinion. Why don't lahum stay at the end? Like azabinina aada azaban aliman. Why don't say like that? Azaban aliman lahum. Why don't say like that? Because um whom supposed to attach to the fi'il, but it has half in avadimina. That's why it gets closer to the fi'il. Maybe that's the reason, but I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe this is special meaning, like mutalik bil fi'il muqaddam. Did Ustad talk about this? Okay, Ahmad said, Ustad, I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah, I was the same. Okay, this is another example. If the world with her. Adal adabah lil kafirin. Oh, sorry, Lil Kafiri. The Masul and who has to be Mansur and Nakiro and common. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait. But this is a dolimina. It has not... al. Yeah. yeah. And also in the Quran, it, it has al. Right? Mm -hmm. um, why it is Nakira? Or, or maybe Marifa? Yeah, I should listen again. This is advanced structure, day nine, uh, around minute 22. Yeah. Anyone who want to listen again and make sure whether this is Nakira or Ma'arifa? Okay. Yeah. Therefore, you cannot take the half of long to the front of the field. Lil Kapiri Okay. Make it like this. This is become Mutalik Bilfi Al Muqaddam. Okay, because you cannot take the heart along, it will stay with the pronoun that's supposed to be attached to the fi'il. Al-Kafiri, oh, 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 now it's changed. Al with, with, with lam hafja, it is al-Kafiri, but when you Take it to the front, it becomes mashu'ul anhu, and mashu'ul anhu should be nasab. That's why al kafira. It's no longer al kafiri. It becomes al kafira ada lahu. Yeah, it's like what I say. It will the heart will stay. Uh, with the pronoun that's supposed to be attached to the PL. That's why it uh, become closer to the PL. Al-Kafiru a'adda lahu al-azaba. Okay. I mean, if this is, you know, Muta'alik bil PL Muqaddam, does that create any special meaning or 
is it supposed to be uh, muqaddam because uh, it has mashgul on who that's my question above it was uh, said that uh, this should be nakira but here is al kafir is uh, marfa yeah i think marifa i think it, this is supposed to be marifa okay okay let's see the example of ahmad is um marifa proper okay. because it name asama has al has okay. al has al has al okay I think this is um, here. This is said Nakira. It's, it's wrong. That means it should be Marfa. This is wrong. Obviously, this is wrong. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Again, istighfar versus muktada. Okay. You can take a look. Ahmada barabat hu Maryamu. So this is istighfar. Sorry, I think it's time for the heating. Sorry? I think it's time to turn the heating on. Are you cold? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Ahmada, here is the mashgul on who. So in this sentence, Ahmada barabat hu Maryamu. Here, perhaps there was some other conversation going on, but you wanted to highlight that Ahmad getting hit. Um, in Jumlah Ismiah version, Ahmadu baraba Maryama. Um, Ahmadu is Muqtada. Here, the subject itself was Ahmad getting hit, or Ahmad himself was the subject. Among other things that are going to be said about Ahmad. So, yeah, more information about Ahmad. This is example. From the Quran. Bismillah. Rahman Rahim. Walakad Jalna. Can we? Okay. Walakad Jalna Bissama I Burujan. Wazayan Naha in Navirin. Wahafil Naha Men Kuli Shayapan Yarajim. Illa manis tara, illa manis tara kasama, wa atsba ahu shihabun mubinun. Wal arba madadanaha, wa alqayna fiha rawasiya, wa ambatna fiha min kuli shayin mauzun. Wa jaayna lakum fiha maayish. We certainly made in made in the sky constellation and beautified even the constellation for the ones who did, and we guarded them for every curse they fell, except those except the one who stole something to be heard, then a meteor, a clear Blessing rocket follows him, and the earth. Um, we stretch it out, and we dropped in it mountains, and we planted in it every balance plant, and we furnished for you in it ways of living well. <laughs> 